Good morning, teacher. I'm here. You told me you wanted to talk to me. Morning, John. Yes, I told you to come here because you said you wanted my help. Oh, yeah. I just want to improve my English. And I want you to give me some tips to do it. Students usually ask me that question. They always say, I can't speak English well. Or, how can I improve my English to speak advanced English or as a native speaker? That's why I have decided to make this video with the most important tips to help you improve your English. So, I want you to pay attention and take notes if possible. But more importantly, put it into practice. Of course, teacher, I really appreciate your help. Please, tell me. How can I improve my English? More than tips, I will tell you some things you can do to improve your English. The most important, practice every day. Decide how much time a week you are going to spend studying and stick to it. I know some people say practicing something every day is not something good. Because you get stressed or bored. But that is not true. If you want to improve your English, you need to practice it as much as possible. That's true. But be careful. You have to be realistic about your time. Don't overwork yourself if you can't. The key is to know how to organize your time. 30 minutes. One hour every day will be enough. I will give you an example. I had two students last year. One of them wanted to speak English. That's it. But the other one wanted to speak English fast because he had to travel to US this year. The first one practiced English three times a week and that was okay. He learned a lot. And the other one practiced English every day. From Monday to Friday, three hours a day. And on weekends, he did different activities to practice English too. He learned English soon. But he had to set aside time to practice his English. He decided to work less and study more. Because he had an objective. What I mean is, you can learn English faster, but it will depend on you. Even so, don't believe those people who tell you you can learn English in only a couple of months. That's not true. Even if you study six hours a day, learning a new language is a process. It will also depend on the level you have. If you already have the basics of the language, then it will be faster. But if you have basic English or you're just starting to learn it, then it will take more than just months. Another thing, practice the four core skills. Reading, writing, speaking and listening. They will all help you to improve in different ways. Yes, I know this tip sounds obvious. But I have heard many students saying they only want to speak English, no writing or reading. That's nonsense. You need to practice all the skills if you really want to learn a language. You can't just learn to speak English. You need to practice reading, writing and listening. Obviously, you can focus more on one skill. The one you want to improve more, but all of them are important. 
Imagine you are at an interview and you say to the interviewer you can speak advanced English. And he asks you to write your strengths and weaknesses in a piece of paper. What will you do? Another thing, when you find a new word, phrase, think about how you could use it in sentences. And try to use it in a conversation. As soon as possible, you have to use it. Don't just take note of the word and leave it there. Really use it in a real sentence or conversation. For example, if you have just learned the word, bet, then use it in your real life experiences. I bet, but I lost. I will never bet, I promise. I will learn English soon, I bet. But always make it part of your life. Don't wait to see that word in an exercise, exam, or book. Another one, if you're interested in learning connected speech, choose an English speaking show. One that you like and turn the subtitles on for a few minutes. For those few minutes, focus intensely on the difference between the pronunciation and the written form. I used to do that when I was learning English. And believe me, it helps a lot and it really works. What else? Oh, know yourself. If you're not a morning person, don't study in the morning. You will hear people saying the morning is the best time of the day to learn English. Because you have a fresh mind and those kind of things. That's not true. Not all people have the same routine and way of learning. Some people hate waking up early. Like my wife, she can't study in the morning because she feels sleepy at that time. But she studies hard in the evening. In fact, she learns more things at night than during the day. That's why I told you, know yourself. That's something really important. What else? Oh, make use of commutes and dead time to review what you have learned. I've heard some people saying they don't have time to study English. That's nonsense. You don't need to sit down and open a book to practice English. Technology changed that. Now you can listen to a podcast while you're going to work on the bus. Or while working out. Or when you're taking a shower you can speak to yourself. Ask and answer questions. There's always a way to practice your English if you really want to do it. So, stop making excuses. And one important thing, give yourself a long-term goal. For example, taking a test or travel to other country. You'll find that you work harder when you need to study for something. Seriously. Like the example I gave you about the man who had to learn English quickly to travel the next year. If you have a long-term goal, an important one, this will motivate you to work harder. And I could give you more tips to improve your English, but it will have to be in a next video. Yes, please, teacher. I need to know more about how to improve my English. What about you, guys? Dear listeners, I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the Soper Think button. Thanks.